Hey guys, welcome to the Fairy Tale Podcast, your podcast for the greatest guild in the world. <laughs> I'm getting all fired up just thinking about this episode. Welcome to another review of the anime for Fairy Tail. Now, this one is episode 190, or if you're watching on Crunchyroll, episode 15. So, uh, this one is called The One Who Closes the Portal, and it took me a little while to uh, compose myself enough to do a proper review because I had so many emotions about it this particular episode of the anime. It was very, very emotional. It started uh, at one end of the emotional spectrum and ended on a completely separate end. And I am man enough to admit I cried. So there we go. All right. Uh, first off, I want to say that I, I changed my mind about the uh, the opening, the intro, the new intro. Uh, I like the song for the new opening. I think this time it worked a bit better because I wasn't comparing it to the previous Masayuma chasing. And if I just, I sat back and just kind of listened to the song based on its own merits instead of comparing it to the previous version. And I still do like the song. Like, it's a good song. So uh, I, I've changed my mind about that. So I found it, I found it to be fun and interesting. Uh, the first half was very expositional, kind of a, a let's, hey, let's see what everybody else is doing kind of thing. Uh, and, and I didn't really, that I didn't really like that. Though I did like how, you know, everybody reacted to fairy tale winning and seeing the aftermath of that kind of playing out. I liked seeing that. Uh, the uh, the first half, uh, the I'm sorry, the uh, the big reveal of Future Rogue. I saw it coming, so it didn't make as big of an impact on me. But for those of you who just watched the anime, I'm curious uh, how much of an impact it actually had on you. So let me know in the comments below how much of an impact seeing Future Rogue show up made on you i'm kind of curious uh uh but when future lucy died in the manga and everybody else started reacting i was pulled in like that really kind of pulled me in now uh the moment far in my opinion it far exceeded what it had in the manga in the manga uh it was just like okay future lucy took the bullet yeah that's cool let's move on with the story and this time I, you know you had kind of a you had kind of the the aftermath of that kind of built that up uh, during the time I was reading this, I was thinking, well, Natsu just lost it. And that was basically my big opinion on that. Uh, I didn't really care about future Lucy, but when Happy started screaming for her not to die, I couldn't hold back the tears, especially like if you follow us on Twitter, I posted up a picture and I said that, you know, I cried and everything. I, and it just, uh, it got to me. It, sh it rocked me to my core. Really did. But, uh, I mean, it's just something about like happy saying Lucy is Lucy you're my friend and that's never going to change that just oh, I don't know man it just kind of that resonated and tugged on my heartstrings and so all the feels and so the tears that were welling up finally poured down and so yeah so it was a very emotional way to end the episode uh it it, it started with cheers and it ended in tears and Ah, man, this was just, ah, this was an amazing episode. I give this five out of five, and I really didn't expect it. It kind of came out of nowhere for me, because, uh, you know, having having known the story that is going further in the manga, and knowing what's coming up next and everything, there there are some shocker moments that are going to be happening later on, but this just, I, I didn't expect to be kind of, stunned and overwhelmed by Lucy's death as much as I was I really I, I was like okay she died let's move on uh, you know that was what I was expecting and she just like they built that up and how everybody reacted to it there's just oh so many things so many things that 
just I can't get enough of this episode. So definitely five out of five stars. But again, guys, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, make sure to check the description for all the different links to all of our different social media that's out there. And continue to support the hashtag fairy tale on Toonami campaign. Let Cartoon Network and Adult Swim know that you want fairy tale in, in the Toonami block. Let Cartoon Network and Adult Swim know that you want fairy tale in the Toonami block. That's it for me, and I will see you guys on the live show next Monday. Uh, though there will probably be another, the review for 191 will be hopefully out by Monday on Crunchyroll. It, it all depends on how quickly it gets uploaded. So uh, uh, again, I apologize for these being late, but I had to compose myself for this particular episode. Thank you.